It's like the kettle calling the pot gold, an overflowing pot of gold coins discovered in Turkey. And we're going to talk about this amazing discovery in this video as we explore. Indeed, an amazing find of gold coins discovered in Turkey. And this is remarkable because these gold coins look just like new. And that's the beauty of gold. It does not deteriorate. It does not dissipate. It holds its original luster throughout the ages. An ancient treasure trove of rare Persian gold coins dating back to the Peloponnesian War was recently unearthed by archaeologists in Turkey, according to Kitko. University of Michigan archaeologist Christopher Rate and his research team discovered the bullion coins purely by chance while digging beneath the courtyard of a house in the ruins of Noshion, an ancient city-state in modern-day Turkey. The coins were buried in a corner of the, of the older building, Dr. Rate told the New York Times. We weren't actually looking for a pot of gold, but it just was found by accident. And that's now where it is, and it's amazing to see how this was, happens like this. They first uncovered a small clay jug called an, an ope, which was reason enough to rejoice. But hidden inside the ope were dozens of gold coins known as derricks. And of course, I've, I've seen other articles on this, and none of them have, have really been able to say how many coins were in the clay pot. Apparently, it was overflowing. Uh, you know, I found this story and then almost immediately members of the community reached out to me and, and sharing me the news of this discovery. It's an amazing thing. I have a playlist on this channel uh, called Found Precious Metal Treasures and, and this will go in that. You know, I'm one of the uh, few in this community that provide news uh, when the world of precious metals like this. Good news when this is discovered that could either change history um, or rewrite it or solidify what we already know about history. It's an amazing thing. Now, the researchers first uncovered a small clay jug, and in the 5th century BC, clerics were mainly used to pay soldiers and mercenaries, with one derrick equal to a month's salary. So, Rete speculated that one such soldier may have buried his life savings, representing years of pay in the jug before being killed in battle. And that's typically what happens. People hide their wealth, much like we do. And of course, if uh, if that wealth is not uh, discovered and during the time, well, it's not discovered until much later. Uh, University, University of Oxford archaeologist Andrew Meadows, who is not involved in the dig, said he was not aware of any other gold coin stash of this type ever being discovered in Asia Minor. So this is a big a find. It's the find of the of the highest importance, he says. The archaeological context for this hoard will help us fine-tune the chronology of the Archimed, uh, Archimed gold coinage. The Notion archaeological site covers 80 acres in western Anatolia, which divides Asia from Europe and has been a strategically critical piece of land for thousands of years. Notion was one of the Greek-speaking communities that arose during the uh, beginning of the first millennium BC. And its gold coins were buried during a time of war between regional powers over the contested frontier zone. This was true in the deepest antiquity as remembered in the story of the Trojan War, Dr. Rete said, and it remains true to this day as demonstrated by the Syrian refugee crisis. He pointed out that a small harbor to the east of the city was one of the departure points for Syrian refugees fleeing to Europe during the refugee crisis 10 years ago. It's amazing. I always talk about how history may not repeat, but oftentimes it rhymes. And when we have a discovery like this, it helps us give a better understanding of what happened during that time. To find a, a hoard of gold coins from any time period would be amazing, but this find gives historic significance, and, and sometimes that knowledge is worth more than gold. Anatolia is the birthplace of the stater, the first state-issued coin in Western world history, which was minted by the seafaring Lydian people. The weight and design of the Lydian stator was standardized by King Aliates around 610 BC, who struck the coins in Electrum, 
which is a natural alloy of gold and silver. You know, we know about Western uh, Lydia, and we know that that is really the birthplace of coinage, precious metal coinage, and it was around 700 BC when that occurred. And yes, uh, this is a, a very important find. The king's son and successor, uh, Croesus, is credited with minting the first true gold coin, known as the Croesiad. And an expression such as Croesus is reference to the massive gold riches of Lydia during his reign. According to the Greek historian uh, Thucydides, an Athenian general named uh, Paches attacked and killed a group of Persian aligned mercenaries at Notion in 427 BC after luring their commander into a trap. The first Persian loyalists were then expelled and Notion came under Athenian rule. Twenty years later, an important naval battle, battle in the Peloponnesian War between Athens and Sparta was fought off the coast of Notion, which the Athenians used as a naval base. Pretty amazing. What amazing history here indeed uh, being brought back to life with this new discovery. Uh, Dr. Rete said that the buried gold coins might have been connected to the events of 427 BC or with the Athenian evacuation of Notion. It is possible it was not associated with either of these dramatic events, he said, but was simply a savings of a veteran mercenary soldier at a time and at a place when soldiers of fortune could make a lot of money if they were willing to risk their lives for the highest bidder. In 387 BC, Notion and the rest of Ionia was reconquered by the Persian Empire until the conquest of Alexander the Great in 334 BC. Alexander and his immediate successors had many of the existing gold derricks melted down and recast with their own image instead, which is why derricks like the Notion Trove are so rare today. That just gives you all the more reason why this is so important. An amazing part of history, for sure. And to find these things in the original state is amazing. But that's the beauty and the amazing thing about gold, and maybe not, and maybe troubling, is that you can wipe away, away history with gold because gold can be recast and reformed, maintaining its value. You can recast it with a different image and so forth and so on. Criminals today are famous for taking gold, stealing gold, and I've covered it in my Precious Metals Crimes playlist, especially with the stealing of the of the big Royal Canadian Mint maple leaf, uh, an amazing um, 200 kilogram, I think, gold, gold coin that was uh, stolen from a museum and then chopped up and melted down, never to be found again in its current form. And it's remarkable what happens. Uh, sad, but nonetheless, it is what it is. And that's a modern classic. Now, in this case here, um, this batch survived that remelting. And the Notion derricks bear the likeness of the Persian king kneeling in a long tunic with a bow in his left hand and a long spear in his right, uh, while the backs of the coins were left blank. And that's the reverse. In fact, uh, we'll go back up here and take a look at what that coin looked like again. This is a uh, remarkable to see that. And of course, here this is apparently the blank side, which appears to have an imprint or something there. I'm not sure. Maybe it's another obverse version of what have you. But uh, look at that. That's pretty remarkable artwork and craftsmanship for back in the day, and for sure. But look at the luster of that thing. I mean, the 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 fact. I mean, these are obviously been worn, but they maintain their original look. It's pretty amazing, indeed. Um, so going ahead here, Dr. Rete said that the fact that the treasure was never reclaimed is a clear indication that its owner was killed. No one ever buries a hoard of coins, especially precious metal coins, without intending to retrieve it. That's right. So many of these hoards are found uh, because they were left and are not on purpose either. So only the gravest misfortune can explain the preservation of such a treasure. The gold coins are being stored in the Ephesus Archaeological Museum in Selkek, Turkey, along with Athenian pottery, also recovered on the Notion site. There's a piece here from uh, fizz.org that also discussed this, and here we can see, again, that's that same image. Uh, but uh, a team of researchers led by the University of Michigan has uncovered these hoard of gold coins and showing what's on it, uh, but the hoard 
which the uh, University of Michigan dated and dated to the 5th century BC, will provide another data point that can tell historians about the Persian Derek's timeline in history. Uh, and that is, it's remarkable. It's, it's amazing because these things were minted in the late 6th century to the conquest of the uh, Persian Empire by Alexander the Great, as we mentioned before. But a lot of these pieces in, in here talking about that the design pretty much remained the same. Um, and they laid them out in a row, and it's very hard to tell which ones were were uh, were of the earlier period or not. But I guess there's some ways they can be able to tell that. But uh, and, and it's amazing discovery for sure. A big news in the world of precious metals in general, um, and how far back in history they were used. If this does not give you a mode of confidence that you're, that you're doing the right thing by by stacking gold and silver, I don't know what else to tell you. No matter what technology comes, we know we have gold and silver to protect our wealth, and in this case, in the form of these gold coins, and before that, electrum coins, which is a natural alloy of gold and silver. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Thanks again for the community, for several of you for reaching out to me on this uh, piece as well. And I want to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.